Jo Leute, herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Part Raincoat. Ja, wir haben hier äh, beim letzten Mal ein kleines bisschen Hilfe bekommen. Unser Chef und äh, die Suhiko sind nämlich uns zur Hilfe geeilt. Weil auch die Detektive anscheinend diesen äh, Ankündigungsbrief bekommen haben, dass dieser komische schlechter Typ hier den Professor Hesco oder so äh, umbringen wollte. Und warum auch immer sind sie auch hier hingekommen. Wie auch immer sie sie reingeschafft haben, na gut, ist Rico halt. Seine Fähigkeiten können halt doch ganz nützlich sein. Ja, um uns verkleiden zu können, um hier vielleicht ein bisschen besser durchzukommen, wollen wir des Rikos Rucksack wohl jetzt aussuchen. Also gehen wir mal raus. Carelessly. Hey, lights came back. Power has been disrupted. We are now switching to backup power. Review all systems and report any errors. A blackout at a high-tech place like this? <laughs> Guess it's not as great as it's made to look. No, maybe it was. Der Prof ist gewiss ist tot. If the security system protecting the lab shut down during the blackout. This is bad. The doctor is in danger. Let's head to the critical lab right away. We need to protect the doctor. Yuma, take us there. Right. Wait, wait. That blackout should have caused a commotion. If we leave now, the peacekeepers will see us. Crawling with them. What do we do? I'll draw their attention to buy some time. In the meantime, you two hurry to that doctor. Huh? You, Chief? What? You're worried I can't do it? I might not have a forte, but I do have my detective experience backing me up. I'm Chief of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Leave this to me. Good luck. Wait three minutes after I leave the room. I'll get their attention by then. You guys use that opportunity to secure custody of the doctor. I'm counting on you both. See you later. There's the hitman! I saw him go this way! Also dangerous for the chief to be a decoy. Well, I guess just being here is dangerous either way. <laughs> I think we can go now. There's no time for a disguise. Let's hurry to the doctor. Right. Was it just Delph spielen? I hope not. Ich glaube schon. The hallway is darker than before. I think it's due to the backup power. The doctor's lab is this way. There's no time for a detour. Let's hurry. I love the atmosphere in this gloomy lab. A monster is gonna jump out! Oh, weiß nicht, wie es lang geht. Oh no, someone's still on guard here. Das war für Boogie, oder? I finally found you. Was ist doch? Please hear us out. We thought the doctor would be in danger, so we. I no 
longer have to fear getting lost. I am in your care. Huh? Oh, Yuma! Has your amnesia deteriorated to the point that you have forgotten me? Wait... Fubuki? Princess, things have gotten complicated. <laughs> uh, so you can take that off now. Oh, I forgot. How about now, Yuma? Does my face look familiar? Oh, Fubuki! You're here too! Yes, I am a detective and adventurer. The chance to explore dangerous places gets me excited. But because everyone is disguised, I cannot tell who is who. So that's how you got lost. As usual, she is such a troublemaker. Hey, we don't have any time to waste. Let's hurry to the doctor. Let's try calling him on the intercom. I hope he's all right. Doctor! What? You again? Stop calling me. Thank goodness. Dr. Huesca, you're still all right. What are you talking about? The hitman hasn't arrived yet. When will he show up? Don't tell me this so-called first-rate hitman was captured by peacekeepers. No, the hitman hasn't been caught yet. Anyway, there was a blackout earlier. Is your security system all right? <laughs> this critical lab operates on a separate power system obviously includes its security measures. I can even review the log on the computer itself. Yes, security didn't drop for even a second. It's a baseless worry. Sheesh, well, seems like he stayed safe, but man, this old guy sure is annoying. Old guy? Annoying? I can see you, you pathetic, tiny weakling! What? You calling me a weakling? How dare you! Did you calm down, Desuhiko? By the way, who is that woman behind you? Oh, um, she's another detective like us. She's here to protect you. A detective woman? Protecting me? That is right. I shall do my best to protect you. This might be our chance, Princess. That dirty old man has a new look in his eye. Let's draw the geezer out of his hiding place with a honey trap. Ooh, tell him, I will serve you with all my heart, yeah? Sure, leave it to me. Desuhiko says he will serve you with all his heart, yeah? Hey! That's not what I meant! Hmm. I am running low on supplies, so I suppose it's time. If you detectives will protect me. Whoa! She's super effective! Dr. Huesca, I'll come get you. Can you shut off the security on your end? Huh? Wait! Dr. Huesca? What's wrong? Wait! Who are you? Help! Somebody come help me! D doctor Doctor! Hey, what just happened? Did he say who are you? Was he attacked by the hitman? But the security system is still active. No one could possibly reach him. Come on, the doctor was definitely just attacked by someone. We have to go help him. Wait, Fubuki, stop! There are toxic gas and high voltage traps inside. Toxic gas? High voltage? There are some dangerous security devices up ahead. 
But at this rate, Dr. Dirty Geezer will... That's not his name. But what are we supposed to do? We can't help him. What do we do? Should we take a gamble and rush in? Hey, before you get yourself killed, how about you use your brain first, like a detective should? But I don't know what to do. That's why you gotta think. There must be some way. You're telling me to think, but I have no idea. To bypass security and protect the doctor, I should... Äh. Na ja gut, ein Spielzeug könnte funktionieren, oder? Diese Roboter? Einhacken wird keiner hier können. Shinigami kann uns wahrscheinlich auch nicht wirklich helfen. Wie auch? Ich denke mal, das Spielzeug könnte eine richtige Möglichkeit sein. I know. Maybe we can use that. Use what? This lab has been developing a toy robot. Toxic gas wouldn't affect it, and it's supposed to be durable, so I'm sure it could withstand high voltages. I saw one in the other room. You're totally right. It's worth a shot. Yeah, let's go get that robot. Oh, hold on. If we all leave this place, isn't there a chance the intruder could escape? could even get away with the doctor. Then shall I remain here and keep watch? Are you sure, Fubuki? Yes. If someone shows up, I can just turn back time. Oh, I guess there's that. Well, we should leave her here then. She's better at this than us anyway. You can count on me. <laughs> All right. Let's go get that robot. Good. Master, you gotta hurry. This way, this way. Ja, gut, Shinigami. Master, maybe it's here. The sign reads Robot Lab. You're right. Excuse me. What the? More peacekeepers? When will you leave me alone? All that commotion going on in the blackout too. I can't concentrate on my research. That's not it. We're not peacekeepers. We're detectives. There's something we'd like help with. And that's what happened. Really? Uh, Dr. Weska? Let me think about it. I really need him to decide quickly. We're supposed to wait a little, so how about we kill some time checking that place out? Auf dem Monitor scheint ein von Amapal gesendeter Bericht angezeigt zu werden. Aber wir haben absolut keine Ahnung, was es bedeutet. Wahrscheinlich muss man hier Forscher sein, um das zu verstehen. Oh! Na geil! Eine Reihe von Ordnern, die voller Forschungsberichte sind. All hey, diese Forschung, um einen Spielzockerbatte zu bauen. Es zeigt, wie viel Leidenschaft in Amapal gesteckt wurde. Begreift ihr, was diese Experiment der Menschengesellschaft bringen wird, wenn es erfolgreich ist? Oh. Ähm. <lacht> natürlich tun wir das. Wenn es erfolgreich ist, kannst du deine Arbeit beenden. Und dann genießt du ein romantisches Abendessen mit mir. Ist das nicht das, wovon du sprachst? Hey. Ist so, Hugo. Ich denke, wir sollten sie sich konzentrieren lassen. Wenn ihr es nicht versteht, dann haltet bitte den Mund. Ja, keine Lust. Ein Korb. Hä? Äh? Du bist kein Friedenswächter. Nun, wer auch immer du bist, misch dich nicht in meine Forschung ein. S sorry. Tut mir leid. Aww. Er ist ein Paradebeispiel für einen fokussierten Intellektuellen. Dein Kopf funktioniert nicht so, oder? Sei still. 
Ein Freund für eine neue Ära, präsentiert von der Amaterasu Corporation, der ferngesteuerte Roboter mit Kamera Amapal. Er kann selbst den wildesten Spielen in Kindern standhalten, er ist so stabil, sogar ein Elefant kann der aufstehen. Wie viel wiegt so ein Elefant? So ein paar Tonnen? Oder nicht? Also... Für mich glaube ich nicht, dass es das halt, äh, standhalten kann. Hey, don't mess with Amapal without permission. Uh, sorry. So it's called Amapal. <laughs> Is the robot really as amazing as you describe it? An amateur like yourself cannot fathom it. Amapal is a fusion of all the state-of-the-art technology in our lab. Some researchers are even considering implementing it as part of militarized weapon technology. But investing state-of-the-art technology into a toy is the epitome of peaceful civilization, don't you think? That may be true, but there are other things to worry about right now. Um, are you close with Dr. Weska? No way. He's not close with anyone. But there isn't a single person at Amaterasu Corporation who doesn't know about him. He's famous in a variety of ways. To be quite blunt, we don't get along. His research is sanctimonious and unethical. He'd sacrifice others for the sake of his research without hesitation. Where most people falter, he's remorseless. I heard he shut himself in the critical lab, and honestly, I wouldn't care if he remained there the rest of his life. That old guy is really hated around these parts. Although, I totally get it. <sighs> Looks like I don't have a choice. I'm obligated to help, even if it's Dr. Weska. All right, I'll lend you armor, pal. That is the purpose of science, after all. This is such a big help. Thank you. Listen carefully. You can control Amapal through this tablet. A display will appear with the camera's feed from behind Amapal's eyes. Observe through here while moving Amapal with the controller. Bumping into walls won't hurt it, so there's no need to be overly careful. All right, I'll give it a try. Also, Regarding Amapal's arms, for child safety purposes, the ends of his arms are ball-shaped. It is unable to grab anything, but has enough strength to flip a switch. But it won't respond to any other commands while retracting or extending the arms, so keep that in mind. For example, until the arms fully retract, it cannot move or turn its head. This prevents the arm wires from tangling up, keeping children from getting too adventurous while playing. That's everything. Any questions? No, I think I got it. I'm a pal is built to be tough. Obviously, the elephant thing is an exaggeration for advertisements, but its load capacity is 100 kilograms. That being said, I don't know if it can survive high voltages. Oh, um... Still, human life takes priority. Please return it to me once you're done. Our other Amapal units are broken right now, so it's the only one that's functioning. Understood. We will be sure to return Amapal to you. Welcome back! Oh, what a nice robot! Did you decide on a name yet? Sure. Anyway, did anything strange happen, Fubuki? No. I kept watch the whole time, but no one entered or left the room. Which means the doctor and the intruder are both still inside. Let's check the intercom again. Let's check the intercom again to see if the doctor's doing okay. It's no use. Still no answer. It, 
he's not just ignoring us, right? It's reasonable to suspect something happened. We still might make it in time. Let's use the robot to investigate the situation in the lab. So that's the toxic gas chamber over there. <laughs> they sure made this extremely dangerous. I Yuma, don't go too far in. If you open that door by accident, the whole place will be filled with toxic gas. Uh, leave Amapel here and let's head back. Right, we'll leave the rest to Amapel. Okay, switching it on now. Oh, hey, the screen lit up. So this is what Amapel sees. It's like the cockpit of a mecha. Whoa, what was that? Did it break already? I thought it was state of the art. No, it's all right. It's stabilized. Phew. Scared me for a second. Okay, let's get to the doctor. Shinigami's tutorial on Carter. Wende Amapal um in Dr. Eskar Suchsicherheitslabor zu gelangen. Vorwärts, rückwärts, blub. Arm aus, einfach mit X. Lärm machen mit äh, den Schultertasten. Wofür ist das Lärm machen da? Amapal kann sich vorwärts und rückwärts bewegen und nach links und rechts drehen. Bei Amapal mit Geschick, um ans Ziel zu kommen. Amapal kann auch seinen Arm ausstecken und aufregende Geräusche machen. Viel Spaß mal mit dem von Amapal. Wofür auch immer die sind? Okay. Ugh. Even through the screen, it feels awful to be traveling through toxic gas. I am beginning to feel sick. Yuma, let's hurry up and get out of here. Yeah. Ich bin jetzt auf den anderen Raum gespannt. Toxic Substance detected. Commencing decontamination. The door will be locked until decontamination is complete. The door has been locked. Is there a key and latch somewhere? It appears that the system won't let it open until the toxic gas has been removed. Well, if the door opened before then, the toxic gas will leak out. Everything's Decontamination complete. Looks like it's done. The next issue was the floor panels with high voltage currents. If you step on them in the right order, the door unlocks, right? But only the doctor knows the combination. And if you fail, it will shock you at a high voltage. There must be a hint somewhere. This kind of thing usually has some suspicious notes around to help you solve it. Mm. Crap. What do we do? There are only nine panels, so why not just try your luck at it? But if Amapel is electrocuted, we'll be completely helpless. I can't just go in blindly. Then you better think of something. You know, like a detective would. Still, is there a way to step on the panels in the right order without making a mistake? No, wait. That's it. We might be able to do it using that. Ah, 
I know. What about Fubuki's forte? What is it, Yuma? Did you figure out the panel sequence? No. No matter how hard I think about it, I'll never figure out the correct order. That's why we have to just take a chance. But if you fail, you should be electrocuted, right? Yeah. Regarding failing, doesn't this remind you of last time? Um... What happened again? You remember the bomb threat with the resistance? We were in a similar situation. But thanks to your forte, we managed to get through it. Oh, you flatter me. That's why I need your help again, Fubuki. If we don't know the correct order for the panels, then we just need to try every single one. If I mess up, I need you to use your forte to go back to the time before we stepped on a panel. Oh, I see. That's a uh, brute force sort of method. Great job coming up with that. Let's hold hands, Fubuki. I'll measure the timing. All I need to do is hold your hand? Yes. Please stay by my side so you don't get lost. Yuma, it looks tricky to control with one hand. Uh, want me to do it for you? No, it's all right. It's easier to match the timing if I control it myself. Oh, come on, man! Just switch with me! I can't be the only one doing nothing! <sighs> Fine. I leave it up to you. I don't know the right answer, so, uh... We'll just have to try all of them. Leave it to me. Lady Luck is mad in love with me after all. Just you watch. I'll get it done in one shot without having to use Fubuki's powers. All right, that was the right one. We failed. We have to turn back time. I don't know the right answer, so uh, we'll just have to try all of them. Leave it to me. Lady Luck is mad in love with me after all. Just you watch. I'll get it done in one shot without having to use Fubuki's... Hold on! What? Hey! I was just about to start! You were just about to step on the wrong panel. Huh? You rewound time and came back? Yeah. Also, Amapel can't withstand the high voltage. Seriously? I guess luck isn't on my side today. You know, I'll let you handle the controls for Ama, pal. It'll be easier for you that way. Right, got it. Um, please try not to make more mistakes. Since we are sharing my power, the strain is not too bad on my body, but still. I understand. Okay Leute, wisst ihr was, wie man hier einen Cut, das war's mit Raincoat für heute. Wenn euch das Video gefallen sollte, lasst doch gerne ein Feedback da, positiv oder negativ, bleibt euch überlassen. Gerne mit einer kleinen Bekundung, was gefallen hat, was nicht. Und ja, wir freuen, wenn ihr nächsten Mal wieder dabei sein werdet. Wenn wir dann hoffentlich diesen Raum hier bestehen und schauen, was mit dem Professor passiert ist. Bis dahin. Ciao, ciao Leute.